I'm not gonna lie, man. Last episode kind of set the bar pretty high. I mean, when you take those characters and you do what you did, you can't expect me to be hyped for the rest of this. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus, and Dress Rosa continues today. Drop a like on this one. Let's get started. So Lauji's done, Size seemingly done, Baby Five seemingly done, Jin Zhao seemingly done. That's four players out of the game. Probably it's two, Harudin and uh, uh, Machivise. <laughs> Bro, what? One for his funeral? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Jin Zhao resurrected to be like, no, I'm not. Dude, dude, Zoro. Zoro, please! Then just shut him up! Like, how is Pika laughing? He has not touched a hair on Zoro's head. Not even close. And he's enormous! It looks cool, though. Like, the, the Charles Stone spikes coming out of the mountain. <laughs> the eyes, I can't get over it. And it just turns right to stone. He sh he shifts out of there. How many times will that happen? Yeah, he, Zoro's kind of right. He's kind of a one-trick pony. Oh, oh, Elizabello. Let's go. Charge up a punch, baby. Once an hour. How long has he been charging? Yeah, why do I feel like Elizabello could just like obliterate? Bro, Zoro look evil. Oh, damn. Yeah, let's both charge him a punch, get up there, and smack the Flamingo. I like that, though. Zora telling him to save it. And the eyes back. Dude, it's so creepy, man. And then he laughs. Oh, my gosh. I forgot about the ocean of sunflowers, man. It sets up, like, one thing, and then it just disappears for, like, four episodes. Hey, he's not a toy soldier anymore. Even Rebecca was, like, offended by that. Oh, no, we're going to get a flashback. Oh, no. Oh, no! I saw it coming, like, from 50 miles away, man. I know the patterns. Oh, shoot. He's jumping in! Even with the wavy field! He's going to go for... Oh, dude. That's shameless going for freaking Rebecca. Oh, my gosh. The animation of that goes crazy. They're gonna put the- Damn, Kiros! Oh my gosh! They kind of put their whole bussies into Diamante's, like, sword stuff. This- this wave is crazy. The effect. Ahoy. He's just gonna- he knows his weak point is Rebecca. He's just gonna keep using her against them. It's shameless, but it's the Don Quixote family. Stand up for yourself! Yep. She could also, like, dip. That way there's no weakness or weak spot for him. Because, I mean, as strong of a fighter as she can be, she's still insanely young. There's, like, moments where I hear the toy soldier. It's, like, it's still him, but you know what I mean. Meanwhile, Sabo? When we cut, like, to the village area, I assume that's, like, the only person we can cut to at this point. <laughs> Through the flames, he emerges. Oh, my gosh. Still, like, blows up my mind that he's here, and now he just has Ace's double fruit. Like, things happen so quickly. It's honestly insane. Oh. What? Stuck in the cage? What? I, I feel like he's lying. He's thinking about Luffy. <laughs> I'm just on it today, man. I'm just on it. Okay, okay. Bellamy's still bouncing. Even an idiot has principles. Oh, shoot. He is going to just throw himself at Doflamingo. Oh, wait. So you got to go along. Wait. Like he has some move that he wants to use with Luffy, maybe. But Luffy would never like do some combined move with him if he knew it was like a sacrificial play or it was like the end of Bellamy. That's going to be devastating if he does, though. He's still building speed. Mocked in. Oh, no, he wants to fight Luffy? Because he's sticking to the principles, I guess. I don't know if I like that angle. I don't think the angle where he's like, Luffy, let me help you, you know? You can make your own new set of principles. I feel like that's what it's sort of moved towards this whole time, too. I don't know. Him living for himself.
Oh, dude. If it parallels and Luffy just lets Bellamy hit him again, what would that mean? No, because I feel like it's it's come a, a different way now. I don't know. Dude, why? Why, Bellamy? Just to prove a point to who? Yourself? Oh my God, he's just chasing Law. Is Law, uh, where is Law, uh, he can grab his arm? Like I said, can he operate on it? He can do room with his other arm, right? His other hand? Dude. Dude, that's like uh, when Whitebeard was standing behind a Kainu. Same vibes. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe his arm is gone. That is so crazy, man. Not the other! Oh my God, if he had no hands, how would he do room? If Treble speaks one more time. Dude, this is just shameless. This tag team. He's lost an arm and you're just tossing him back and forth. He's running at him. Oh my gosh. Law is crazy. Oh, oh, he stabbed into his fight. Damn! Okay, Law? Bro! Oh my. He's just pissing him off more. Dog, he's gonna take another arm! Ah! Luffy, please, man, hurry up! Just recruit Bellamy, ask him to join your crew, something! Give him a reason to live! Oh my gosh, there's no way. I don't understand him attacking Luffy though. I he 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 recognized that this is, that he is an idiot though. But he like has to stick to those principles. I thought he'd come further than that. Is he gonna force Luffy to kill Bell? No, he he wouldn't ever. Oh, who's lost smiling? How? There's a plan, dude. Luffy, man, please. <gasps> Wait, he's gonna lay him out with one hit again. But you've always been free. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's a good thing. Yes! Dude, why are your principles so stuck whenever. <sighs> when they're founded by evil people? Aye, aye, aye. Sticky lies throwing his cummies. I'm sorry. That was un uncalled for, quite frankly. Where is this? Oh, they lit him on fire. Bro, Law's like d d perishing. Oh, flashback? Oh, oh my gosh. What the? No, I know where this is. Kevin, wait, isn't Bart here still too? He's challenging you to a duel. A beautiful duel. Oh, what? What's happening? Oh my! Bros is holding the sphere eyes button. He's making a bomb. He's like, I'll kill us all. Oh my gosh! This one's zero to a thousand. Bart! He's just standing behind this barrier. What? Just open it and close it real quick, Bart! Gladius does not give a damn if you're caught in it. Bart, there's no way, bro. What? Oh my gosh. Bro, there was like 10 seconds of buildup. Gladius is really cool though. Like his design and everything. Okay, well, that's just false. If anything, if if this is like Cavendish's fight inherently, or just if it's Bart and Cavendish or just Bart, I feel like Cavendish is going to end up asleep, and that's how he fights. 712! Bart, you're going to feel real guilty when Cavendish's blood splatters against your barrier, pal. Oh, what? What? Oh, okay, he did let him in. I see. Would he have actually died? That's kind of crazy. I like how he has to keep his fingers crossed. Yeah, take down Gladius to get... Bro, his eyes. Stay for a while. Yeah, I was gonna say, he acts like it's like a house. Out he goes. <laughs> his little slide up. Bart's being a freaking goober, bro. 
No, oh, I thought she already made it all the way up. She's still running up. How? Robin! She's made it like five feet! Oh my gosh, there's a sniper. Oh, it's it's Gladius. Robin, Rebecca, and Kiros versus Diamante would go hard. Wait, sniping her? Bro! Bro! Bart is Himothy! Dude, that has to be so frustrating for the anime, though. It makes sense with his personality. It'd be the most annoying devil for it to fight. It's just an impenetrable shield. Go, go. So he's Robin Coon and Cresthead Coon. Oh my god, bro. He really does have a praise kink, but it's just for any straw hat. Bro, he moves his barrier so easily. Like, it's what hair. Oh, thank you, Cavendish. Hello, boy. Dude, the Omega barrier. He's moving with it. It pushes everything. Oh, my. Bro, you would just be crushed. Robin praising him powered him up. That is incredible. It's like leaving, like, nothing in its, in its wake. I'm surprised Gladius and just throw bombs down for him to run into. I guess it would still hit the barrier. Oh, then there's Dellinger. <laughs> just standing there. There's no way Gladius would be able to catch up to Robin now. Oh, it is. We'll hit that freaking gum gum stretch. That is so cool, man. So you can stretch with what's in his shoulders. Bro's Luffy with extra steps. Dude, Dellinger really is like a young Doflamingo. A dude. Oh my, oh my gosh. Hey man, if, if the stuff with like loud G has proven anything, Ideo can pop off here. And I wouldn't be shocked, but it could do it in a really cool way. Uh, you see, no, um, it wasn't this bad. Uh, oh, it wasn't this bad at all. Ideo is getting bodied. Absolutely ransacked. Schmeckle schmackled. Run through like a train. <gasps> oh! What? Oh, the hat! Oh, I was like, why do I feel like Dellinger like would, would freak out if any part of his like outfit was like torn? He's very like, he has to keep things nice and tidy. Oh no, he's just same old, same old. Ugh. Bro, it is, how is he still standing? Oh my gosh. Who's gonna break it, break to him the news that Luffy is busy dealing with Bellamy? Oh, he's tearing the hat. There's more to Dellinger. Why are his eyes turning red? What is happening? Oh my, oh my. What the f That's why he has a shark fin? He's actually a shark? Oh, damn. Oh, that's that's it. Just the teeth. Okay. Okay. All right. So, are they just going to like grow fins and stuff? I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. What? What? You kick him off? Inhale's dead. Fighting fish lineage. Oh, my gosh. He's a fish man. That's crazy. That's insane. I honestly thought the fin was for decoration. The horns, it's like that of the, the little piranhas. Oh my gosh. What the hell is Dellinger? And the red eyes, this, that's wild. <gasps> Did Bart and, and Cavendish take him down? It's quiet, too quiet. Oh. <gasps> Cavendish, he's asleep. Nobody moves that fast. It's dangerous here. Yeah, what would have changed between now and then? Yes! He caught him! Oh, shoot. Jekyll and Hyde Cavendish has arrived. Oh, Chopper's bag. Bro, bro. Uh, the Sunny and the rest of the Straw Hats, I, I miss them dearly. I really do. It's so bizarre not having them here. Dude, Asleep Cavendish is a freaking demon. That is terrifying. He, like, I think he one-tapped Dallinger. <gasps> Fall. Fall! No, he's still standing. He's still up. I think he's shocked by the fact that he was actually cut that bad. Would he as like a fish man like freak out? Like a piranha? The sight of his own blood? No, I think it's like the first time he's ever been cut. 
Oh, wait, does Cavendish speak when he's asleep? That would be creepy. Oh, that'd be so creepy. Please tell me he does. It's just a face that is just terrifying. Like, dude, that is some uncanny valley stuff. <gasps> oh! Bro, there's not gonna be anything left! Oh my gosh, Dellinger's down. Oh my gosh. Dude, a sleep Cavendish is insane. I like how Bart's just hiding. Oh, it's so creepy. Does Bart not know it's Cavendish, technically? He's wearing the exact same thing. Oh my gosh. And how did Cavendish pass out? Totally forgot he did that during D block, and that's what kind of like just disassembled the entirety of the block. But does he have some form of control in that form, and that's why Rebecca wasn't cut, or was it just luck? Oh, I thought that guy was like cheeked up, but it's the pants. Oh my gosh. I was like, there was no need. Dude, oh my gosh. <laughs> that's what I was saying. Dude, it's like it's like scanning. Oh my gosh. I don't blame Bart for hiding. I would too. What kind of vendish is he? Cavendish, go. Over Gladius. Go get Gladius. Oh. He's actually trying to get in. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't think he has any control. He wouldn't attack Bart. Uh. I mean, at least he can't get in. Bart's shield is, is impenetrable. Just keep your fingers crossed, pal. It's keeping you from death. All that separates him. Like, Cavendish is already a talented swordsman awake, too, is the thing. Oh no. Oh no. Don't gloat. Don't gloat. Dude, it's so cursed, man. He's gonna do something to get him to uncross his fingers, I swear. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bro twisted it. Oh my gosh. Holy. Bro. That is so creepy. He's going for Robin. Why does he not go for Gladius? Gladius is right there. Okay, dude, Robin should have made it all the way up by now. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep it a whole buck. Is he gonna have to just fight him? Bite the bullet? Oh, he is. Bro, Bart is so brave. She's in a terrible spot too. Dodge Robin! Oh, nice. Oh my gosh. The multitasking queen. I can't wish you can restrain him when he's asleep. The form seems stupid strong. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. <laughs> the sparkle. I'm, I, I, I don't know why. And I don't know how to explain it, but I really like moments when Robin has stuck up for herself because I don't know if I'm alone in this feeling and let me know in the comments if I am. It has felt like Robin, at least for a, a decent amount now, has not been used to the potential of her powers. Like it's almost like 85 or so percent of the time, Robin's powers aren't used for fighting or restraining someone, but instead for like moving moving or gaining distance or something and like that's fine and dandy but i genuinely feel like she had more of a fighting prowess in even like alabasta even though she didn't really fight in alabasta but like i had more of like an idea uh, like that of her like it feels like she out of all the straw ads was sidelined i would say more than anyone else at least in terms of combat i mean yeah her ability isn't as like combative as like even like usopp with his his slingshot but still i really like what moments like i said when she's sticks up for herself really shows how stupidly strong her power is and how she can handle herself because i feel like the the standard has been set so low that i genuinely expected cavendish to get a big fat hit in on her but dude i forgot how terrifying cavendish was when he was asleep i mean dellinger's like i think dellinger is down as much as like lao g is one of those hits where you're down for the rest of the arc no matter the outcome of the arc and that's saying a lot that's a big player every single executive that falls that's a that's a game changer man but guys that's been it for my reaction to dress rosa today i hope you did enjoy drop a like on this one and i'll catch you next time peace peace